dusha kahaya mamunga tahaya tahiya tatoya ya shita aya aya u onde aya ini ni oda uya ya 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 so to ni ya andata shasto to ti ya 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 usti mini andu uta ya aya kasulu to te mayano mayano to dia tate se ya ya no necessary all that the evil one would try and discourage you remembering also greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world he loves you he enfolds you he comforts you and one day you will see him face to face and hear those wonderful words Well done my child enter into my glory this is the promise for the believer thank you father thank you lord 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 thank you father that you have spoken thank you lord may we receive the words spoken from heaven may they permeate into our heart yes and be settled father we pray in jesus name amen amen the great honors of knowing jesus christ as our lord with the move naturally when you're moving you always look back over the great times the, the harrowing times the victorious times and the sad times you've had uh, in this here but the one thing that I always come back to is jesus as I was standing at the back I discovered that I'm on communion this morning so now I have to prepare a communion what do you have to prepare or would your heart shouldn't your heart already be prepared your heart is already prepared i know the power that there is in the blood of jesus i know the depth that jesus christ wants to take us I know the depth of his love and how strong it is that by that power the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses each one of us from all sin and that's all that matters. That's all that matters that God wants to move in our lives in a new way. You know it's almost inconceivable as when you think according to what God says now you might be sitting here today you're waiting for the communion to be served which will be served shortly and think of yourself looking back over your life and you hear as God looking in heaven now it's I've already got the people organized there are roster thanks thank you and and the and it's here and we're looking back over it here and God's looking at heaven and saying look into the heart of every one of you and he's looking into all of your hearts and saying I've redeemed you you're washed you're clean that's how God's thinking but how are you thinking can you really re receive now from God that you are the purest of the pure you are washed whiter than snow in the blood of Jesus Christ So the scripture says and I'll read to you 1 John 1 again I wasn't going to but I will as our ladies take around the tray in 1 John chapter 1 I love 1 John chapter 1 I never get fed up with it that's the beauty of the word of God And you know the most amazing thing I have discovered in all of the years that I've been a Christian every time I read some one of the passages of scripture I still find something different 
every time in it. So 1 John chapter 1 and verse 5. This is the message which we have heard from him, and we declared it unto you, that God is light and in him is no darkness. Now these people got a revelation from God. God, you're light, and in you is no darkness. A pure, pure light. And if God is pure, pure light, by the cleansing of each one of us with the blood, as our sisters, you like to take the trays away. Thank you. As God is pure light, and we're going to stand before his presence, that means he's got to consume every bit of darkness inside of you. The devil might say you're dark inside. He's a liar and the father of lies. Yes, he is. Do you listen to the liar and the father of lies and do you believe his lies or do you believe what Jesus Christ said? That in you is the light of the world. You're a beacon unto Jesus. That we're a beacon to do a work, a work that God wants us to do. Yes. A beacon that will do that, those things that are worthy in the presence of God. And if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and we do not practice the truth. Do you notice one thing about truth? It's very hard to conceive and just run with it all the time. You've got to practice it. Practice, practice, practice. Practice and put as you practice, practice makes you perfect. And the perfection of God is taking place in the life of each one. As we practice the truth, as we receive the truth, as we walk in the truth in God through Jesus Christ. And if we say we have fellowship with him and we, and we, and we walk in darkness, we do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, We have fellowship with one another. And then the blood of Jesus, this blood, this cup that you are holding today, this cup cleanses each one of us from all sin. From all sin. As you hold the cup in your hand, Stop and think how valuable that cup is. Ingots of gold cannot be compared to that cup. Because that cup cleanses you from all sin. Can gold? Can gold do that? No, it can't. You know, because when we go to heaven, we're going to walk on streets made of pure gold. Footpaths. It's a footpath. It's a footpath. I remember once, some years ago, in another church and another time, I was conducting a funeral service for a dear friend of mine that went home to be with God in glory. And his children, they were not Christian, but they attended the funeral and as I con conducted the whole of the service I spoke about the love of God and the love that this man had for mankind and the way he endangered his life against the cartels over 30 acres of land he went and cut down with marijuana with his own hands and set fire to it and the cartel was out after him. I don't think they got him. The Lord took him home graciously. But he loved God. His children had nothing to do with him. And after many, many years, and he made me the executor of his will. And after I was conducting the funeral, I could see some of the relatives turned up. 
And uh, after I finished the service, his two daughters, who had nothing to do with him but were druggies, and I'm not against them for being druggies. Jesus died for them. Jesus died for them. But during the service, when I finished, their old eyes began to roll like a poker machine. You ever seen a poker machine rolling around? <laughs> Maybe you haven't. That's a good thing. And I overheard one, and one said to the other one, I wonder how much he left. And I walked up to them and said, excuse me, ladies, please forgive me. I, I overheard what you were saying, but I can give you the answer if you want to know. I said, oh, yes, please. I said he left the lot because he couldn't take any with him. And that's it today. We can't. We can take what is written in your heart. You can take what the blood, what the power, the blood, what it has done in your own life. You can go there knowing that it is this power. There is nothing more powerful than the blood of Jesus. The devil wishes if only he could take it, but he can't. He can never cross the bloodline. Never cross that blood. And so today we have something very valuable, more valuable than gold and silver. It's eternity. Eternity. You can't buy it. It's the fountain of youth. Man has been looking for the fountain of youth for hundreds and maybe thousands of years. And when we know we hold it in our hand in Jesus Christ, that we can live and never age or be diseased again, but live forever. Let's stand, shall we, in the presence of the Lord our God. And let's just bless him for all that he has done. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, bless him, bless him. You just bless him for a little while. Bless him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cherie, would you ask God's blessing on the bread, please? And Lee can ask for blessing on the cup. I'll teach you him. Thank you, Lord, for this bread, which is a symbol of your broken body that you did willingly for us. It speaks of your great love for us. It speaks of the sacrifice that you willingly undertook for us. Oh, yes. The people who mocked you and hurt you and despised you, you were willingly able to go past their faults and to see them with the eyes of unconditional love and forgive them they don't know what they're doing and I just thank you Father God that your grace, your grace is always there every morning that you're always faithful no matter what we do no matter what we say or think you're always there to forgive and we just thank you for that for your broken body for your eternal forgiveness for us Father God oh thank you Lord just thank you in Jesus name Amen and when Jesus received the bread and when it was broken, when it was blessed, he said to his faithful, as he is standing here in the midst of each one of us this morning, I want you to eat all of this in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As Lee is a little bit shy, Carmen, would you ask God's blessing on the cup, please? Lord, we thank you. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for your blood that shed for us, that cleanses us and, and glorifies <coughs> us to your body that was broken. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We can't thank you enough for what you've done for us. You're so good, Lord. You, you sacrifice yourself for us so we don't have to suffer. Lord, we give you all the praise and the glory and the honor, for you are worthy of it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
And again, when Jesus received the cup, when it was blessed, he wanted them to know the value that they held in their hand. And then he said, drink ye all of it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it.